Washington University, Paul Bagala, and Tucker Carl. Good evening and welcome to Crossfire tonight. Big Brother says it's time to lose weight. Also, the man who says the Clinton administration treated the White House worse than college freshmen checking out of their dorm rooms. <laughs> but first, praise the Lord and slam the other guy. This week's annual gathering at the Southern Baptist Convention has provoked cries of Muslim bashing. Monday, the Reverend Jerry Vines said, quote, Islam was founded by Muhammad, a demon-possessed pedophile who had 12 wives, and his last one was a nine-year-old girl. Vines added, quote, Allah is not Jehovah. Jehovah is not going to turn you into a terrorist that'll bomb people. The Southern Baptist Convention's new president refused to repudiate Vines' comments, calling them, quote, accurate. Muslims are calling, among other things, bigoted and hate-filled. In the crossfire tonight to discuss it, Hussein Ibish, who is the Director of Communications and Media for the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. He joins us from New York City. And in Lynchburg, Virginia, is the Reverend Jerry Falwell, the Chancellor of Liberty University. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us. Reverend Falwell, thank you particularly. Uh, I want to ask you, it's a very difficult thing to defend the indefensible, but I wanna, I, I'm, I'm told that you're uh, friendly with Reverend Vines, and I want to ask you if you will repudiate his statements uh, slandering the Muslim faith and the Prophet Muhammad. Well, I was there. I heard his comments. I do know Dr. Vines very well as a humble man of God, a preacher of the gospel for many years. And I, I did not believe that when I was listening to him that he was attacking Islam or Muslim people. He was rather comparing the life and the behavior of Jesus Christ and Muhammad. And he gave the story of the virgin-born, sinless son of God who died upon the cross for the sins of the world rose from the dead to grant everlasting life and then he pointed out historically and by the way it's uh, it's all a matter of history uh, that uh, muhammad in fact was guilty of massacring many many thousands of jews innocent well, but people do you, do you believe muhammad was a demon-possessed pedophile reverend a demon-possessed pedophile that is a slur on a prophet that, that's who's, who's well, I have no followed way by of, a billion people i certainly have no way of knowing who's demon possessed but he was. Well, I'll, give you, I'll, I'll tell you what he did. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what he did. I'll let you decide if he's a pedophile. Among his many wives, and no Muslim scholar denies this, he had uh, a wife who was given to him, betrothed to him at age six by his best friend, Abba uh, Bikar. And he, uh, at age nine, when she was nine, consummated the marriage. Now, in a civilized society, when a 54 year old man consummates a marriage with a nine year old girl, uh, I think it is reasonable to believe that uh, to say that's pedophilia is not taking it beyond the limits of reality. Okay, Mr. Mr. Ibish, is go. that is is that true? So let's just let's just I, start there. Did I, Muhammad I have, have a nine-year-old wife? I have absolutely no idea, and neither does anybody else. To be honest with you, what happened 1,500 years ago? Much of this is mythological. Much of this is shrouded in the past. It's not the point. It's not the point. The well, point actually, is, wait, hold on. the if point, no, no, the point is, hold on, no, no, let me, let me finish. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, but I guess it, it, to some extent it is the point. That is one no, of the charges in the this statement, it's and my question to you is, is it true? No, it's Do not you Muslim scholars believe it to be true? Is it I accepted among them? Actually, I have no idea about who the prophet married and when and why and it doesn't matter yeah. because you let me tell you no let me tell you let me tell you the point is that this is part and parcel of a generalized attack on islam and muslim of course it's an attack on islam you've got to be kidding what about the rest of the stuff that he said about islam not being as good as christianity about well, uh, allah turning you into a then, well, well, let me finish uh, right, this let is me, a rehash of anti-semitism apparently, uh, apparently you have not studied apparently sir you have not, not studied muslim yes. history now Look, if, you have, if you would like to do it i'm not if you would like i'm not to know interested gentlemen what is it I'll give you an opportunity to become a student of your own pathetic. history. Go it's to Falwell.com, and we have put so several pages so of Muslim history Look. there. And, and oh, talking no. over doesn't change it. Look. Mohammed had a nine-year-old okay. wife Look. with whom he now, committed uh, if you a think sex wait, wait, that is if you think time here, If you think it's not an attack on people's faith, to call their prophet demon possessed, then you're an idiot. Wait, All right? Hold on. If I call Jesus, seriously, if I call Jesus demon possessed, now I want you to stop for a second, Mr. Evans, and I want you to respond. Hold on, hold on. I may be an idiot, but I'm not a pedophile. Look, I'm not a pedophile either. Congratulations. Wait, Mr. Evans, please, please stop for just one moment here. I want you to respond to the 
more specific charges in yes. this, and, and the general well, charge, which is, hold on, hold on, which is that Islam promotes violence. That is the charge that this man has made. It's the charge right. that many have made. And I want you to respond. Yes. I want to respond to what I believe is one of the sources of this understanding. It comes right from the Quran, Surah 9.5. I want to read it to you. Quote, fight and slay the pagans wherever you find them. Seize them, beleaguer them, and lie in wait for them. Fight them. Allah will punish them. Right. Kill unbelievers, no. in other right. words. Now, anyone can play this game, sucker. I That's can go into the Bible. I can go into it. Is it's a filthy game to tarnish other people's religion. I can this go is into a the quote book. From the Quran, I can go Mr. right. This I is can, not a exactly. filthy game. I can go into the Bible, into the book of Joshua, and find quotes about God ordering their, Joshua to wipe out everybody, men, women, and children. I can go into uh, the Talmud and find all kinds of quotes. In fact, there are websites all over this country, anti-Semitic, vicious websites that are filled up with quotes ripped out of context from Jewish holy books in an attempt to slur Jews. Well, give and in the fact, what, I don't understand. In fact, Let's what, Mr. Well, the point is that the traditions of Islam have been peaceful and tolerant in the main, but just like with Christianity <laughs> and Judaism, there have been uh, violent Muslims. The point is 1.3 billion people in this world are Muslim. Most of them are good and decent people, and the faith has given them a moral vehicle to be such. This is, a, this is just like... It's just like anti-Semitism from 1850 to 1950. Let me thing. bring you back into well, this. One of the other things that Dr. Vine said, sir, was that uh, the God of, of Christians does not turn people into terrorists. I want to read you a exactly. statement, though, that, ten, that tends to disagree with that. This is the statement. You'll be familiar with it, Reverend. God continues to lift the curtain and allow the enemies of America to give us probably what we deserve. The abortionists have got to bear some burden for this attack, the September 11th, because God will not be mocked, and when we destroy 40 million little innocent babies, we make God mad. That was you, Reverend Falwell, suggesting yes, that somehow God was behind the terrorist attacks of September 11th. Isn't that I believe, every bit of, I believe that, that sounds like Osama bin Laden, Reverend? Paul, really, right, really I believe that, that I believe Paul that that God blesses us for obeying His word, and saw in Proverbs 14:34, righteousness exalted the nation. But I would like to repeat to my friend there from New York, if he would go to Falwell.com tonight and just well, read okay, I, from... I, look, yeah, well, so well, I'll, well, I'll go to Falwell.com, but I want to know, know, okay, I want to know if you believe the that God now. sanctioned the mass murder of September 11th. decide yeah. for yourself yeah. if you believe the Muslim scholars who we quote that in fact, you know. in fact, Muhammad married and consummated marriage with, a, with a little is girl nine yeah. years old. Jerry that Falwell is, is a terrible thing. Jerry that Falwell. is pedophilia, and you know it's true. <laughs> Jerry Falwell is the same man who said, God does not hear the prayer of Jews. And no, the same Jerry man who said, that. Now, you, you did. You and you that said, said and you said, what? What? and you said, and you said, you did say it, and you said that the Antichrist was no doubt Jewish, alive and well, and living in Israel. Well, my good, my good mom. Friend, you said that. Of this, Mr. that uh, Mr. Evans, Reverend Falwell, I'm to sorry to catch up. We're going to go to a quick break right now. Right. And I'll have to, guys, will cut off your microphones. Okay. Go into a quick break right, right now, but we'll be back in just a minute when we do. I'm going to tell uh, Reverend Falwell and Hussein who actually said that about whether God hears the prayers of Jews. And then later, President Clinton's been out of office for about a year and a half. Why can't the 